Good morning, fellow streakers, or good afternoon, or good day, or welcome back to school week. I don't even know. Jamie's solo on this one. I was I'm just going to see how long she was going to go. Heading out there. <laughs> That's because my kids went back to school this week for two days, and two whole days. Two days yeah. back to school. I just want to say thank you to all the teachers out there who have put in a huge amount of effort to completely restructure how education looks right now. Oh my goodness. They, uh, the amount know, of work, energy, and effort that's gone into it. And I know there's a lot of reasons to complain and to be upset about things and everything else, but I think we can have a little bit of gratitude for the teachers huge amount that, of gratitude who have their own families and their own personal lives and their own things that are going on. And they're doing whatever they can to try and to make, make it happen. To make it happen you know? so that our kids can have a safe and healthy and involved learning environment to accommodate a whole lot of different circumstances. So I'm just grateful today. You're, you're just happy. You're going to go in solo because you're like, I am solo. glad. I am happy. It's well, a the, good day. It, it, the, uh, you know what is interesting? So um, yesterday or the day before, I think everyone was gone for the first time in a long time Five from months? the entire house. Yes. Except oh. for me in oh. my office. And it was, it was a little bit surreal. I was yeah. kind of looking around going, huh. I wonder where everyone is because I'm used to kids running in and out. I mean, I'm on client calls or whatever else, and everyone is running all over the place. Yes. And dogs are barking. And I'm saying, shh, dad's on a call. Right. And how many times have you asked me to get office doors? A door. I know. Well, we need doors. doors. <laughs> yes. But but so this week we went back, and it was it was beautiful. That's a great. You didn't, though. You, you're not traveling yet, well, which and was I also kind of beautiful. <laughs> and. I don't think I will start traveling for quite some time still. We are learning. You know, how to one do of the things that things I found online. with the whole online world, just looking at that for just a second, is, you know, we had, I believe, as a nation, as a people, we were dipping our toe in the water of the online pool. You know, we would be talking about maybe we should have this meeting online. Right. People were a little scared to be on their camera. You know, things like that were happening. And then all of a sudden, you know, two weeks into March, everyone was pushed into the deep end of the Literally online pool. Pushed, yeah. And we're all flopping all over trying to figure out what it is that's going on. I mean, the teachers themselves are like, okay, how do we finish the school year right. with online school? We have no idea there. Parents are like, what do we do about work? We've got work and kids now at home. We've got to manage through that one. And we're at home. They're working. There were times where I had coworkers that their kids were just off camera and they were doing their homework at the table. At the table. I loved that. I love that we are as families working through this together. And it brings up a good point. We had talked about today a little bit. Well, we wanted to update the app. Oh, that's right. It's it's it we got four updates this week. And that Have was I, so cool. Can I just say I'm learning a lot about the patience that's required to be an alpha tester. But I love it. And I because just want to tell you she is being very patient with it because she because I'm so excited. App. I want well, it to do exactly what I want it to of, be doing. She's loaded all of her all of her streaks into it several times because is it well this is where the tester. patient but yes. go ahead as the app tester, sorry. Well, but it's also helped me realize and have a huge amount of gratitude for the amount of effort that it goes in to develop something so that it's stable and it can do all that you want it to do. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that I can text, hey. It didn't do this. I really want it to do this. <laughs> and I'll be like, okay, we'll see what we can do to get it to do that. There so. have been times I'd have to talk you off the ledge, though. Yeah, there have been a couple times that I'm like, is this ever going to work? And I've and had to like, remind her, this is what remember, an alpha this is what an alpha is. tester does. Yeah, <laughs> the alpha it, tester goes through all of the ugly bugs so that the people in the beta test don't have to. And then the beta test have hopefully little bugs that we go through we to then it. we go to release, which release of the app is Ready to go September 22nd when the book comes out. Can you believe that is only four weeks away? Book is released in four weeks. I'm so excited and excited for the app. I'm excited for all of it. <laughs> how so, come? Well, how come you're excited? I'm excited to, well, I guess I'm most excited for the, the app because I'm excited to be using it and uh -huh. to release them at the same time so that my hope is that as people get excited about trying this new thing, there's also the ability to keep track of it and work together. <laughs> it's like what we talked about where, you know, building the whole, building the whole um, streaking methodology was a process. Right. Right. Starting with the smallest, simplest thing. And then we talked about that and figured out what it was that was going on and how the laws applied. That's like what we're doing right now with... With the uh, releasing of the book. With the releasing the, of the talking book. Talking about it on podcasts. And then the app is the second law, which is to keep the record. Right. It'll didn't we, didn't we talk about that? Yeah, Isn't that what that we just said? It'll help us keep the record. And then as people are able to 
start doing this, we're going to have communities. And I'm excited to see what those will look like and how so the, they'll develop. So the release of the app this week were the communities, which is really cool because um, – so you enter – the first thing that you do on the app is you enter your B statement, and that creates a stack. We call it you create a stack. That stack has your B statement in it. When you have your B statement, once that's done, now you can start adding streaks to your stack. And what that means is you are you are delineating the actions that you're going to do on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis um, consistently, you know, the streak, that are specifically related to who you want to be in that area. So for example, I want to be a, a, a fantastic father. So that's my aspirational statement. Not even close to it yet. I want to be there someday. One of my streaks is to contact at least one of my children daily. Well, I enter the B statement first with the, you know, with that, I want to be a fantastic father. And then I add the streak. When I add the streak, contact at least one of my children daily. Now, cool part, I can choose who I want to be in my community in the app. It has a list of the people who have accepted the um, to who be my friend. App, right. Yeah, who are on my app. So you're one of those. Mm -hmm. I'm your and, friend. Yeah, I, I'm so glad you're my friend. Me too. And then, and then what I do is I just check your name. And on your side, what do you see? I see your streak. And then that has a little fun thing by it that when you complete your streak, I can give you a high five. Very cool. It is very cool. It's fun. It's it's. I'm excited about it. I'm really excited about it. So that's coming out. The book, start ordering now. It's uh, it's out there on Amazon.com if you want to get a copy of the book. The book is really the journey. It's, it's one of those things, and we talked about this on the last podcast, where the journey of how we discovered this whole thing and read it from, from cover to cover. It's a, it's, it is a, um, I wouldn't say it's a long read. No, would you? no, it's a short read, Yeah, but it's fun to, the, the reading part is kind of the groundwork and then starts like the real work. I feel like, because what do you then, mean? well, the reading helps you kind of have the courage to try it uh -huh. and an understanding of what the, the, the methodology is, but then it really comes to you looking at yourself and deciding who who do I want to be and and what kind of things do I want to have in my life and then honestly the step of courage of being like okay do I want to do a streak do I yeah. want to do I want to try this <laughs> and I do feel it takes a little bit of courage I remember feeling that way What do you mean like, as far as courage Just to to be like okay do I really want to try this am I going to hold myself accountable to be like I'm going to try this every day to do to, one simple to thing. Do one simple that, thing takes a little bit of courage. To and it, I, I, I'm just curious about that as far as the courage that it takes to actually do that small, simple thing. Because you don't want to let yourself down. Ah. Uh, you, you're like, uh, okay, I'm going to try this. So you're and worried, I think, you're nervous, you're concerned that you might let yourself down. Yeah. But it's also exciting. It's exciting to be like, all right, I'm going to try this. <laughs> so, you brought up something that I thought was interesting that we had talked about earlier that you had talked about a coworker. Um, and the importance of which came first, kind of having a mindset that helps you move towards action mm -hmm. or acting that can help change your mindset. And when we were talking, so I've been thinking about that all morning. And when we were talking about how the technology, how, how COVID came and kind of pushed everyone in the deep end of having to be in the online world of, yeah. of having to use technology instead of being face to face. Yeah. I thought that's an example of being pushed to action. Like it didn't matter what we were thinking. We were pushed into acting right. and had to. And so that was kind of an that's interesting a good point. thing. I didn't we even were, think about that. We were talking about that because because there's a quote in our book. Yeah. Um, that, Let me see here. See if I you can find the, that. I, I've been switching pages here as we've been talking along here. But the um, the quote is this. And this is all, and this is in relation to what we were talking about as far as the stack is concerned. When you look at it, who I want to be, in other words, I stack streaks together to become that person. Well, what are the streaks? The streaks are the activities, the actions, the yeah. actions that I'm going to do. So this is from, this is actually from a book called The Power of Positive Deviance. And it's a book that explores how some unlikely innovators are approaching the world's thorniest problems. And this is the quote. It's easier to act your way into a new way of thinking than think your way into a new way of acting. Now, my 
my colleague, my coworker, um, the individual I was speaking with said, well, it's got to be your mindset first. You won't start acting until your mindset has changed. And, and that I think is... That brought up a good conversation yeah. for us that we're like, okay, is that, where's, is that true? That you won't start acting on something until your mindset has changed. Right. And so, and maybe it, maybe it begs to define what is mindset. Is mindset desire? Mm. I mean, if, if in that case, I would say, yeah, I think you always have to have some level of desire right. to push yourself into acting. Or is mindset more, I don't know, that, you, you know, that you're going to... You I think believe. it's a shift in paradigm because you bring up a great question and a great point. And by the way, I just wanted to say something. Jamie and I have talked a lot about this podcast and podcasts in general. And we've gotten feedback from a whole bunch of people um, about how the podcast might be better or what it is that we do differently. And one of the things that we enjoy most is having a conversation. We just like talking to each other. Well, it's it's, it's something fun. we've done for what? Tw- let's put it this way. 29 years of marriage, which has been awesome. Are we 29 years or 30? No, we're 29. We're 29 because that years. was August, yeah. August 3rd was we're 29. We're in our 30th year now. Yeah, we're in our 30th year. Um, when we started the running streak back on the beaches of Mexico in 2015, we, you know, the thing that we loved most was just talking with one another, mm-hmm. having a discussion, conversing. And that is one of the things that really what we thought we wanted to bring to the podcast is the conversation because we like the conversation about streaking and about and, and other things as well, parenting and our professional lives, our personal lives and everything else. And I, I don't know, I just I, I felt like I just wanted to discuss that with everyone out there that yeah. you're part of this conversation and we'd love for you to, you know, I was talking with Megan the other day. And she said she was listening to the podcast and she said, I loved it because it was like I was right in the conversation with you. Right. And she said, I really got upset when you would interrupt me when I was trying to make a point. (laughs) So that's kind of what we wanted to do as we were thinking about doing this podcast is that we would love, I wish we could invite people in and sit at our kitchen table and we would talk because it's what we love doing is getting different ideas. Right. So when we bring to this podcast, that's kind of what has happened is that you talked with someone that kind of challenged this this quote that it's easier to act your way into a new way of thinking than it is to think your way into a new way of acting. Right. And so that's what we're, as we were talking about it, we're like, okay, well, okay, that was challenged. Is it true? Is it easier to think and then act? And so we kind of, we got, as we were talking this morning, we're like, well, it's a little bit like the chicken and the egg or, or a little bit like I've talked to, um, I have a friend that I've talked to some of the different issues that are happening in the world and, and there's this, um, he, he, he would say, well, you can't really come up with a solution until you really understand the problem. And I've been thinking about that too and thinking, but I wonder how much of life is more doing these things in tandem mm-hmm. in the sense that as I'm coming up with solutions, I need to always be looking at the fact that I need to constantly be looking to understand the problem. Mm-hmm. And But I'm doing both. I can't always wait to completely understand something before I act or I mm-hmm. may never act. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to just act without ever thinking about something yeah. because I'll do some pretty stupid stuff if I don't <laughs> take a little time to think about it. And you've I, got to be conscious you, of what it is that you're doing and make sure that you're doing it in the right way. In the right way and for the, you know. So it's maybe more of a journey, the, the, the acting and the thinking. But I do strongly believe that if I have a desire, so if he's saying that you can't do it until you have a mindset and by mindset he means a desire, uh-huh. then I would agree. I need to have a desire to prompt action in, in almost so there's everything. Something if I have inside something of me that inside I need to do of me, some different. desire. So that takes me back to thinking about kind of the breakout streak. I call it, It's the floss your teeth streak. I mean, mm-hmm. that was the breakout streak. That was the one that set us on a different course because before that we had considered streaks as simply physical. Right, just a way it, to keep us running. It, exactly, to exercise. And honestly, there's a lot of streaks out there that are all about physical. And usually when we talk to people about streaking, what's the first streak that they set? Right. Some kind of a physical some streak. T- which is interesting because that's an acting, acting. streak. That's a good I can point. think a lot about running, but actually getting out there and doing it is a whole nother question. Right. And so th- maybe that's why people think, you know, as far as the streaking is concerned, I'm totally <laughs> this is all coming to me Go right on. now okay here we go we have not talked about we, this no yet. we have not well and 
that's kind of fu- the fun part of this podcast as well is the conversation that we have. Yes, we talk about this all the time, but what we do also is when we're in the midst of the podcast, we don't retake the podcast. We don't edit it afterward. We don't do anything. Now we may start over two or three times like this morning. We were having a rough time this morning this getting started. This is the first time this podcast has come in with a little bit of duct tape. <laughs> we're like, we're it was have bailing to wire and duct over. tape. It rem- that's uh, one of our favorite Brian Regan jokes is he talks about a joke. It's a horse and a jockey. And it, it if is. If you've home. never listened to Brian Regan, you have to go listen to Brian Regan and yeah. look up the horse and jockey. Yes, because it's it is hilarious. hilarious, and he's laughing at himself because he he's like, I don't know if that joke's going to make the DVD because it came in with a lot of duct tape and bailing wire. And by that time, <laughs> anyway, we probably ruined the joke. It's hilarious. You have to go listen it to was, it. I'm, I'm laughing at it right now. I, I want to listen to it right now. Anyway, um, the thing about the conversation, about the acting, okay, I'm, I'm now progressing back to where we were. Okay. Uh, as far as the breakout streak was it was now something... I had thought a lot about flossing my teeth. I had thought a lot about what it was I needed to be doing or wanted to be doing. We've talked a lot about that particular, uh, those two phrases, want to be and and should be. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I shifted my mindset because I had a desire. Yeah, I agree. You had a desire. And I, you I, tried I mean, I a had lot of two surgeries of desire. Exactly. And I didn't want to be in and pain anymore. And you didn't anymore. desire to lose your teeth. You and I had set goals. And we'd set goals, right. I mean, I had I had looked at it and I had done I had paid money for it. I'd done all kinds of things. And and so when my the okay, so here was the change in the paradigm. And the paradigm wasn't I had a desire, but I had to have a framework that was something different. Mm-hmm. And the question that was different was, how long can I do this simple thing? I mean, I'd been lo- I looked in the mirror and I thought I've been running for close to three hundred days. Right. I can't sh- floss my teeth. I so do what do this. I need to do? For- and so I th- if I set a, a streak to floss my teeth, then I'm I'm changing fundamentally the paradigm, not to the activity that I'm doing, but to how, how long, long can, can I, I do, do it. it? And I don't understand why that paradigm shift makes a difference. It's huge. But it does. I've noticed it in myself with simple things like a a vitamin that I need to take each day that I spent a lot of time trying to get myself to to take. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't know why. I knew I wanted it. It was something healthy, but I just couldn't. But the minute I shift it to how many days in a row can I keep doing it, it changed everything. It did. And I don't know what it is. You started acting on it in a consistent way because the small on thing done once way. makes no difference whatsoever. But the small thing done consistently over time grows forests. Right. I mean, it carves the Grand Canyon. It does all of those things. So I guess if I were to make a delineation about how I feel about this, yeah, I genuinely believe that you can act yourself into a way of a new behavior. Yeah. That by choosing to and do, do a new way of thinking. Into a new and way a new, of thinking. Yeah. Right. And and that the action, the desire is there, but I can sometimes the desire isn't enough to get me acting. Right. And this has this has gotten me to be like, all right, now the, I'm consistently you know doing what? I'm with you. And that's me as well. I mean, it's gotten me, it's it's got it has gotten me into this framework now that I can do these things. And mm-hmm. it's a whole bunch of other things. You know, one of the other things I think about with this is um, with our children. One of, um, I was talking with my brother, and he was talking about how one of the things that is on every parent's mind right now is how much screen time their children have on their iPads. And I've talked to several of my colleagues, same thing. I was talking with Julie, and she was concerned about the amount of screen time that they had, that children had on their iPad. And you and I have talked a lot right. about this. And other colleagues, you know, and we're all thinking about this. You're like, where did, where is this even coming from, this whole segue? What I was thinking about is, you know, the whole idea of streaking is about activity. And is it something that we can help our children to develop conscious thought as to what they're doing when they're engaging Mm. with an iPad. Does that make sense? Yeah, to help them. Well, so the thing that I think is that the the biggest power 
that you're going to have with your kids is if they decide to do something for themselves. And that's the biggest challenge as a parent is that being older and seeing things, you recognize you're like, okay, these are things that are going to be helpful for you. But to help a child understand that and to see that for themselves is a huge part of the growing process. And so the being able to get them to understand, oh, I'd rather do something else than this or to keep track of that amount of time and recognize that time is even passing. That's a huge thing for those kids. It's just even like, is it possible? Do you think it's possible with streaking to help them do that? I do. I do. And in what way? How do you, how come you think that? I think that, well, because first of all, have you experienced it like with Bowen or Chance? Yeah. Well, with Bowen particularly, who has set himself a piano streak. So, and the beautiful thing of this is that he came to me with something he wanted to do. Uh huh. And that's something I wanted to touch on when, when people talk about, well, If the mindset isn't there, that's got to be there first before they can act. I do strongly believe that one of the beauties of the streaks that we have when it's laughably simple is that you are deciding for yourself what your streak is going to be and what denotes laughably simple for you. And I think there's a huge amount of power in that because you're being honest with yourself about where you want your laughably simple to be. Mm -hmm. And so I think the power comes in that that you're deciding for yourself, not somebody else telling you what your streak should be or what your laughably simple is. Some other app telling you what your streak should be, something else defining for you what it is that makes the streak. You're saying no. No, I'm defining it for myself. Mm -hmm. And so Bowen came to me and said, my friend plays piano and he takes piano lessons. I want to take lessons. And this was in the middle of, this was right at the beginning of COVID. and, And I thought, well... We can't do lessons now, not in person anyway. <laughs> right, exactly. And there was a lot of uncertainty in things. And so it was also something that I was like, well, I don't know if I want to put this in. So we, he came to me later and he's like, what about this app that I found? This Simply Piano app that I can do on my own. Right. I was like, okay, yeah, you could do that. So he played for a while and he, he messed around with it and he enjoyed it. And I said, would you be interested in trying a streak with this? We haven't tried very many streaks with our kids yet. And he said he would love to. So he decided for himself that that streak was going to be to play five notes on the piano a day. And and that took him away from the screen time. It took him away from the screen well, time. Well, this is something we're going to have to discuss further. We're at the end. We're at the end of our podcast. Are you surprised? Yeah, it went fast today. It was great. <laughs> I know. After, after the restart, <laughs> we of so several keep times. keep doing your streaks. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Because it can change who you are. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much. Uh, if you want to get a hold of us, Jeffrey, J-E-F-F-E-R-Y at streakingmastery.com or Jamie, J-A-M-I at streakingmastery.com. Have a great day and keep streaking. Keep streaking. Better you. It's the small and simple things that make you grow into what you're hoping. You're in a hurry. Don't even worry. It's too simple not to do. It's the little things that make a better you. A better you.